The year was 1791. A young nation, the United States of America, was still finding its footing. The Northwest Territory, a vast expanse of land, was a point of contention. The new nation sought to expand its reach. Native American tribes saw their way of life under threat. This clash of cultures of aspirations would lead to a brutal confrontation. It would be known as the Battle of the Wabash. The Miami, the Shawnee, the Delaware, and others had united. They were led by chiefs like Little Turtle, a brilliant strategist. Blue Jacket, a charismatic leader, also commanded. They saw their land being taken. They were determined to resist. On the other side stood General Arthur St. Clair, governor of the Northwest Territory. He commanded the newly formed Legion of the United States. He carried the hopes and the orders of President George Washington, his mission to subdue the tribes and secure the territory for American settlement. The stage was set for a confrontation that would leave an indelible mark on American history. The Battle of the Wabash, also known as St. Clair's Defeat, would become a stark reminder of the cost of expansion. It would force the young nation to confront the realities of frontier warfare. General Arthur St. Clair faced a daunting task. The Ohio country was a vast wilderness. Dense forests, treacherous swamps, and unpredictable rivers defined the landscape. St. Clair's army was ill-prepared for such terrain. His men, many fresh recruits, lacked experience in wilderness fighting. Supplies were dwindling, morale was low, and disease was rampant. The Legion marched slowly, hampered by the terrain and their heavy equipment. They built forts along the way, attempting to secure supply lines and establish a foothold. Fort Hamilton, Fort Jefferson, each marked their progress. Each was also a testament to the growing vulnerability of the army. Despite the challenges, St. Clair pushed forward. He was driven by a sense of duty, a belief in the mission entrusted to him, but he also underestimated his enemy. The Native American tribes were masters of the wilderness. They watched the legions every move. They waited for the opportune moment to strike. The morning of November 4, 1791, dawned cold and misty over the Wabash River. The Legion, encamped near present-day Fort Recovery, Ohio, was vulnerable. They had made camp on a low-lying rise, surrounded by thick woods. St. Clair, believing himself far from the enemy, had grown complacent. What St. Clair did not know was that his army was surrounded. Thousands of warriors, led by Little Turtle and Blue Jacket, lay hidden in the surrounding forest. They had been meticulously observing the Legion, waiting for the perfect moment to attack. As the sun rose, the warriors unleashed their fury. A deafening volley of musket fire and war cries shattered the morning calm. The Legion, caught completely off guard, scrambled to form defensive lines, but they were outmaneuvered, outgunned, and outfought. The Native American warriors were masters of their environment. They used the dense forest to their advantage. They employed guerrilla tactics, appearing and disappearing at will. They would fire a deadly volley and then melt back into the trees. This left the Legion confused and disoriented. The warriors' knowledge of the land proved devastating. They targeted the Legion's officers, creating chaos and disrupting communication. They exploited every weakness in the American lines. Their attacks were swift, precise, and relentless. The Legion's muskets, effective in open warfare, proved inadequate in the dense woods. Their bayonets were useless against the warriors' hit-and-run tactics. The element of surprise, the warriors' knowledge of the terrain, and their superior fighting style turned the tide of the battle. Section 5. A Harrowing Defeat. Carnage on the Wabash. The scene on the battlefield was horrific. The air was thick with the smell of gunpowder and the cries of the wounded. The Legion, outnumbered and outmaneuvered, fought desperately but in vain. Their lines crumbled under the relentless assault of the Native American warriors. The warriors, fueled by righteous anger and a fierce determination to defend their land, fought with unmatched ferocity. They overwhelmed the American troops, driving them back in disarray. The battle, if it could be called that, became a rout. The defeat was swift and absolute. The casualties on the American side were staggering. Over 600 soldiers were killed, including many officers. Hundreds more were wounded. The Native American warriors suffered far fewer casualties. Section 6. The Cost of Defeat, A Nation Reeling News of the defeat at the Wabash sent shockwaves through the young nation. It was a crushing blow to American morale. It exposed the vulnerabilities of the fledgling army. The defeat forced the government to confront the realities of westward expansion. 
President Washington, upon hearing of the disaster, was reportedly enraged. The defeat was a personal blow, a stark reminder of the challenges facing the new nation. The public outcry was immense. The defeat raised serious questions about the government's ability to protect its citizens and secure its borders. The defeat had far-reaching consequences. It shattered the illusion of American invincibility. It emboldened the Native American tribes who now saw the potential for resisting American expansion. Section 7. Echoes of the Wabash Lessons and Legacy The Battle of the Wabash stands as a stark reminder of the cost of conflict. It highlights the dangers of underestimating one's enemy. It underscores the importance of adapting to different fighting styles and terrain. The defeat forced the United States to reevaluate its approach to westward expansion. The government realized the need for a better trained, better equipped army. It highlighted the need for skilled leadership and a deeper understanding of Native American warfare tactics. The lessons learned from the Wabash had a profound impact on the development of the United States Army. The defeat led to reforms and a new emphasis on training and discipline. It also forced the government to reconsider its relationship with Native American tribes. Section 8. The Resilience of a Nation, Rebuilding and Reform Despite the crushing defeat at the Wabash, the fledgling United States was not deterred. The nation, though shaken, showed resilience. The government, under President Washington's leadership, embarked on a period of military reform. The Legion of the United States was reorganized and strengthened. New training methods were implemented, focusing on wilderness fighting and adapting to Native American tactics. The defeat also forced a shift in the government's approach to diplomacy. The government recognized the need for a more nuanced and respectful relationship with Native American tribes. The rebuilding process was slow and arduous, but the defeat at the Wabash, though a tragedy, ultimately served as a catalyst for change. It forced the United States to confront its weaknesses and emerge stronger. Section 9. Honoring the Fallen Remembrance and Respect The Battle of the Wabash, though a dark chapter in American history, is not forgotten. Memorials and monuments stand as solemn reminders of the sacrifices made on that fateful day. The names of the fallen are etched in stone, ensuring their memory lives on. The site of the battle is now a place of reflection and remembrance. Visitors come to pay their respects to those who lost their lives. They come to learn from the past and to honor the bravery of those who fought on both sides. The legacy of the battle extends beyond the battlefield. It serves as a reminder of the importance of understanding our shared history, both the triumphs and the tragedies. It compels us to learn from the past and to strive for a more peaceful future. Section 10. The Significance of Wabash, A Turning Point the Battle of the Wabash was a watershed moment in early American history. It marked a turning point in the nation's westward expansion. It exposed the limitations of the young nation's military and forced a reevaluation of its policies toward Native American tribes. The defeat shattered the illusion of American invincibility and ushered in a period of introspection and reform. It highlighted the importance of diplomacy and the need for a more nuanced understanding of the complexities of frontier life. The Battle of the Wabash serves as a powerful reminder of the human cost of conflict. It reminds us that progress often comes at a high price and that victory is never guaranteed. Section 11. The Enduring Narrative. Wabash in American Memory. The Battle of the Wabash, though often overshadowed by other events in American history, continues to resonate. It serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of overconfidence and the importance of respecting other cultures. The story of the battle has been passed down through generations, kept alive in history books, museums, and local folklore. It serves as a reminder of the sacrifices made by those who came before us and the challenges they faced in building a nation. The Battle of the Wabash is an integral part of the American story, a reminder of the nation's past struggles and triumphs. It is a story that continues to captivate and inspire, urging us to learn from the past as we navigate the challenges of the present.